everyone, this is Darwell20, and welcome to episode 13 of Darwell20's Let's Play series, where today I'm chilling with my little rap friends, and I'm ready to make them some upgrades. Um, so there's a few things I want to make from rats. Um, one, to get us something that'll make things a little bit easier going forward, and, and then we're going to get into the rat tree farm that will hopefully be pretty cool. I'm excited to try it out. Because um, it's been a while since we played with rats. It, like, it was an early version of the rats mod in 1.12 that we last played with. So I'm very curious to see how it's come along. So to get started, almost every rat upgrade, I think, requires the rat upgrade basic. Which has no effects, but it is the crafting component for all other upgrades. See all the upgrades? There's a lot of them. There's a lot of things rats can do. Uh, that said, it can be made with either four diamonds or four rat diamonds. And rat diamonds are made with a gem cutter rat. So if we get a gem cutter rat, which can cut gems into specific shapes and forms, it will turn one diamond into four rat diamonds. Put another way, get yourself a gem cutter rat because it's going to make your rat upgrade basics cost one diamond instead of four diamonds. So trust me, this is a good thing to get. Now, unfortunately, the first rat upgrade basic that we need to get is going to cost uh, four diamonds. And it's also going to cost some cheese, which I was not 100% prepared for. So let me go get some milk and turn it into cheese. Look who decided to pay Direwolf a visit. Hello, friends. What are you doing here? No. Rude. That's right. Get teleported away. Now I'm going to get bad omened. Did I get them all? I think I got them all. No, there's a couple up here. I think a couple got teleported away. Maybe they got teleported down. Hey, you know what? I'm going to bet that they got teleported down. Ow. Ow. Good. I enjoy you illagers saying ow. <coughs> Say ow more. Don't like illagers. They're the bad guys. Almost as bad yet not quite as bad. There he is. As Enderman. I'm just saying. Now that got me bad omen. Oh, look who's back. Pillager. Pillagers and illagers and all the bad vergers and stuff. Anyway, uh, making cheese. All right, cheese is ready to go. So first upgrade will be the rat upgrade basic, which is going to use four diamonds, unfortunately. Uh, but that'll turn into the gem cutter upgrade, which needs a stone cutter. Uh, and then gem cutter upgrade. And then boom, we're good. Nice. So give me a rat. I think right click the, the rat cage. I'm going to put you in there, buddy. And you are going to... Do I just right click this on you? No, I put him in the upgrade slot. Okay. So if I do that... He should turn into the gem cutter rat. And now if I give him a diamond, or maybe give it to him here. Oh, there it goes. Hey, little buddy. Thanks. Now, will you also do it if I just drop a diamond on the ground or no? Do I have to give it to you through your UI? I thought he would pick up the diamond and do it, but apparently not. Maybe he has to be on follow me mode though. Come here, sir. Maybe in stay mode is not. Also, the magnet's probably not helping. Let me turn you off. Go do the thing. See the see the diamond, little buddy? He might need to be in wander mode. Just curious if he'll do it at all by himself. Maybe gather items? Yeah, if I tell him to gather items, he'll do it. Thanks, little guy. All right, uh, stay. Thanks, dude. All right, so that that's your gem cutter upgrade. Totally worth getting. Uh, so now let's get our lumberjack upgrade. So for that, we're going to need not an unhealthy amount of, of, of wool and stuff. Uh, let's see, do I have any wool handy or did I use it all? That's okay. Uh, and the, we're going to need two black wool and four red wool. So let me cook that up. Bone mealing rose bushes is literally the best. How about black dye, though? I don't feel like going and hunting squids. I don't think there's too many nearby. But 
But, how am I for black? Oh, not great, not terrible. Could be worse, I guess. Uh, let me put away some junk. You can go away. I don't think I need quite as many of you guys. And then let's get our shears out, which should be in here somewhere. Shears, where are you at? Found them. Real quick, I'm going to get a bunch of mystical black flower dye and whatnot. All right, I turned off my magnet. <laughs> I was like, why isn't it magneting up? Hey. I do not want tall grass all over my face, thank you very much. Okay, so, oh my goodness, junk everywhere. Inventory, please. This is what happens when you're working on multiple things at once. Okay, so you turn into these guys. Yeah, now I desynced my inventory by doing that a little bit. Uh, now where'd that bowl thingy go? That'll turn this into dye. All right, so that should turn you into black dye. Nice, that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. I like that as a solution to black dye. Because, I don't know, for me, squid ink has always kind of been like a nuisance to get, right? So, that's a nice solution. All right, now then, you should come over to here. I don't know if that's quite enough string. That should be enough, right? So we need four red and two black and that should be what's up okay i'm gonna put you the dyes can go in with the flowers does that sound fair and then uh the wool can go in with the mob drops and i should really get some sheep and set that up properly but you know dire yeah no dire all right so then we need one of you using rat diamonds this time okay uh and what else did we need a sapling. Rat specialization. All right, lumberjack guy, you're with me. So let's get ourselves. So he's my, this dude's my, my gem cutter, right? Let's get ready to set up a lumberjack. Hey, little buddy. You're going to be on my shoulder for a minute. All right. So you're going to be the lumberjack guy. Uh, and then in addition to that, we want a planter. So we're going to need a farmer's hat. So I think we need three of these. Did I see that correctly? Because two here and then this. Okay. Uh, actually, we do have the things we need. I need two of you. And then I need some seeds. Three seeds of any kind. And then this thing. So you're going to be my planter. And that's cool. All right, and then let's get one more of you, dude. So that's you and you. All right, you guys are with me, and you stay here. All righty then. So let's come over here and consider this to be my area for the things. Did I do this right in the middle of the night? Nah, it doesn't matter, I got a sleeping bag. You can only sleep at night. It's close enough to night, just let me sleep. I'm going to make a mod called Close Enough that lets you sleep one hour earlier. All right, guys. So I want you both to stay here for a moment. Good. You're currently at stay here, and you're currently at stay here. So one of you is going to get rat upgrade planter. One of you is going to get rat upgrade lumberjack. I love how they get a little lumberjack outfit. Some of them get outfits, and it's literally the best. Um, does he get a hat with a lumberjack upgrade? I forget. Uh, let's Let's reverse that, right? So, boop, nope, no hat. So he just gets, so the harvester gets the sickle and uh, the, the, the lumberjack gets an ax and a lumberjack shirt because that's what the rat mod's all about. Now, like a genius, I forgot to actually bring saplings, but that's okay, we'll punch a few pieces of wood and hopefully get some. 
This was a mistake. All right, good enough. So uh, let's figure this out real quick. So you, if I give you this dude, right? Rats will plant any held seeds or saplings when set to the harvest command. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my rat cheese staff and do I right click you? Staff is now bound to rat. So I'm gonna set you here. Uh, set home point for rat to grass block. Cool. All right. And then we're also gonna want a chest for a moment. So let's get that set up real quick. We might want a few chests. We'll see, we'll figure it out, right? And maybe I shouldn't make, where was he? One of these guys was the, was the home point, right? I think what I'm gonna do is place a smooth stone block and that'll be their home point, just so that it stands out to me. Right, and that should be good. Cool, yeah, you're now the home point, nice. Cool, I like that. Now for this, that gets, wow, that gets very interesting -y. Boom, staff is now bound to rat. Set rat radius origin, and radius will be seven. I feel like that rendering is incorrect, because that's supposed to be rendering the radius of the yeah, that's radius. That's that's rendering around my player rather than around that. So I think that's a bug, but we'll see. Uh, and then I'm gonna set you to take items from chest. Hello, plague doctor. How are you, sir? Good to see you. Look at all the things. Ooh, golden rat skull. Very nice, but no thanks. Go away. Go away. So you're gonna now take items from chest. Cool, that's this guy. So if I put saplings in here, will he go get the saplings, I think? So I'm gonna put him in wander mode and hopefully that's what he'll do. Go on, take the items. I think that's right, right? Alright, you're definitely being in my way, buddy. Can you not? Thanks. Beat it. You guys are interrupting me. Ooh, I got a bundle of sweet smelling herbs. Now, uh, what did you do? Did you decide to do something? Oh, wait, he has to be in harvest mode, doesn't he? Yes. There you go. Oh, nice. Okay. The only problem is he didn't he didn't do what I wanted him to do. So he kind of did what I wanted him to do. So let's see. You're bound to you. You should be cool. Staff is now bound to rat. Set rat radius origin to this block. And then I really want you to behave yourself. You're not doing what I want you to do, see? Well, let me try this then. What if we put him here, wrong place? What if we put the chest on the stone block and we made the center here? Right, um, so you're gonna be take items from chest. You're going to be set home point, uh, and then put that there. Okay, and then saplings are in. Go. He should be cool. All right, guys, we're back. Uh, so what I did is I removed the rat upgrade planter and put it back in, and I also set this dude to stay here. All right, so let's do that. I'm gonna put the oak saplings in the chest, and then I'm gonna say harvest, and he'll plant. Cool, all right, good deal. Now, hopefully he gets out of the way when those things grow, but we'll see. Now you, sir, I would like you, 
And this thing is definitely being weird. Um, set there, radius, how about 10? Does that sound cool? I like that. Um, and then what I'm gonna want is another chest maybe over here. And you're gonna be for a collecting rat, which I might go get, but you, your your home point can maybe be here set home point that sounds cool and then i'm also going to set you to i don't know if he'll pick up items in harvest mode so let's go get another rat who's dedicated to picking up items does that sound cool i like that um so we'll just go get another one of these dudes hey buddy yeah you don't need you don't need to get um an upgrade for rats to pick up items um, but they'll only pick up, I think, a couple items at a time. So if you want them to be able to pick up stacks, you can get the platter upgrade. We'll see. So you, sir. Come with me. Follow me. Um, so you're going to gather items. And you're going to go here. Set home point. Deposit items in chest. All right, cool. So now let's try growing a tree. Hooray! Go do the thing, little buddy. And you need to be set to harvest mode. Nice. Look at that. Cool. All righty then. All righty then. And you should be set to, you're set to gather items, so do your thing. Maybe he needs to be specified an area. And I'll make his home point here too. And then you deposit items in chest. Well, maybe I'll put you in here. What'd you do? Oh, he, he he took the... Yeah, I see what he did. That's not what we want to do. No rat, that is not what we want to do. So you're actually going to want to... Deposit in chest like that. Take you out of there. Take your stick out of there. Ah, perfect. Nice. All right, now why you aren't doing anything is beyond me. But it looks like that guy's actually doing some work. Nice. Yeah, he's going to grab one item at a time, which isn't perfect. It's not perfect, but it'll do. You should be gathering items, though, and you're not. So I'm not sure why this rat doesn't want to do nothing, but I might want to... Do I have a watering can by chance? I should look into making one of those rather than using up all my bone meal. But I, mean, I kind of want to just see if these rats will behave themselves. If not, you know, not the end of the world. I remember trying to set this up in 112 and having some similar issues. So maybe it's uh, we're not as lucky as I'd hoped in terms of the rats behaving themselves these days. There you go. So he is chopping down the tree. So that's cool at least. We know that's working. So the lumberjack upgrade is working. But why aren't you doing anything, buddy? You just seem to be like a derp. Get to work. Gather items. Go ahead. So this guy did all the work. He picked everything up for me, which I appreciate, don't get me wrong. Now if I were to place this here, he'll plant. So we've got the planting working and the harvesting working. Just really curious as to why this rat doesn't want to behave himself in terms of gathering items. He shouldn't need an upgrade to gather items, right? Now I can give him items and he put it in the chest. So he knows where his home chest is. I appreciate that little buddy. I really do. Uh, but also, what? <laughs> you know what you were doing. Now if I do this, is he hurting somewhere or is he okay? 
I guess he's okay. Well, that's good. Because I remember in 112, the rats would take damage if they suffocate inside a tree. Which did not make them the best at, uh, at things. So you... You are just hilarious in that I give you an item. Well, at least I... Yeah, no. He knew what to do with it. Where'd you put my sticks, buddy? Yeah. He put the sticks in the chest. Do what now? He just doesn't want to go gather the items. That's interesting. I'm just going to bring another rat out there to see if he wants to behave. So you... Follow me, but first I want you on my shoulder. Let's see if this guy wants to behave himself and do what I want him to do. So I would like you to pick up items for me. So I'm going to shift left click here. You will gather items. Staff is bound. Sometimes you shift left click, shift right click. Sometimes you don't. It's very interesting. Deposit items in chest. Okay, cool. So if I dropped an item on the ground for you, would you? Oh yeah, look, he's getting it. All right, so it's this rat who's just not a good, not a good listener. Santa Hat is definitely a good listener. This guy, not as much. You, follow me. You need to behave a little bit better. Because that guy definitely picked up the stuff. Now what I'd like to try, one last thing, um, is I'd like to transfer, so I'm gonna put you away for a minute and I'm gonna get you out. Follow me. Uh, I would like to make another upgrade that will allow me to transfer the items, saplings specifically, from uh, this chest to that chest using rats. I think I can do that with the whitelist upgrade, I wanna say. We're gonna find out. I'm pretty sure that's doable. Let's get some more cheese. And while that's cooking, let's get another diamond. This is for you, sir. Thanks, little buddy. You're very helpful. Mm, delicious potatoes. Is this my little guy? Oh, yeah, he's set to follow me. That's right, he is set to follow me, isn't he? Ha, <laughs> forgot. Okay, so you're going to get me a basic rat upgrade, and then I want the whitelist upgrade here. Uh, rats will only pick up or transfer items that are on this list. Use to set items. So it's going to require some white dye. And then, ah, rat upgrade whitelist. Cool. So I want you only to transfer saplings. So I'm going to add saplings to the whitelist. Beautiful. That actually worked. Okay. And my little rat dude. Come on with me, buddy. He's following me. Good gerb. So one of you guys set to, your buddy is set to gather items, right? I want you... Boop. To take from chest and you to deposit in chest. Okay, and then you are going to get the whitelist upgrade and you're going to transport items. And he should just bring saplings over here, which will get planted now. Sweet! That worked. That's cool. So check it out. Here's what's going to happen. You ready? Grow tree. Lumberjack. Chop down tree. Lumberjack and gather item rat will pick up the items that fall on the ground, place them in the chest. Good job, little buddy. Where are you going? Well, you just got a little bit lost. That's all. And then transfer rat will transfer saplings to chest. And then the, the, the planter rat will plant the saplings around the chest. Works for me. The mod's a little buggy, I'm not gonna lie. There's like, it's a little bit, it's a little finicky. It's a little finicky, but I think this will work. That's not bad. That ain't bad at all. Uh, now I could do like a whole drawer system with that if I wanted to, uh, but I think what I'm gonna do for now is just upgrade the chest to either 
Probably just an, an iron upgrade should be fine. Um, hopefully that doesn't like completely confuse the rats by changing the tile entity, but we're gonna find out. And maybe a quick nap. But yeah, that works. That works. Yeah, the radius staff I think is a little bit buggy. And I remember the radius staff being a little bit buggy in the 112 version as well. Um, it's not very clear on what's going on there. Uh, but we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. So if I do this and then we grow the tree again, I just want to be sure. Thank you. Nice. Everybody's doing their job. How cool is that? And then he's bringing the saplings over and the saplings. I love it. It works. I love it. That is cool. Good job, rats. Yeah, they're a little finicky. They're a little finicky, but they do work. They definitely do work. Oh, that's not a that's not a creeper hole. That's a legit little cave going on. All right. So let's uh, let's leave those guys to do their thing. Hey, look, natural growth, and it works. That is awesome. Look at those awesome little rats. Good job, guys. Tree farm is a go. Hey, not a bad solution, right? I mean, could we have set up an industrial foregoing tree farm? Yes. Would that have cost RF? Yes. And while I do have the whole lava gen setup going on, I don't have like a massive... I mean, at some point we'll probably switch from rats to foregoing or something like that. We'll see how they last. As long as they last and behave themselves, they can stick around. We'll see what happens with them, though. All right, so the only other thing that I'm not super sure about not super sure about is whether or not it'll be a problem for the rats to have mobs. Will mobs attack rats? I'm not super sure. Is it really like one glowstone for, okay, cool. Couple gold, couple glass. Let me get a feral flare lantern over there at least. And that, uh, will at least set up some light sources so that the rats will be somewhat protected. How's the, uh, how's the chunk boundaries over here looking? You know, it makes sense that this would be on a chunk boundary. I don't think that would make a difference. It shouldn't, but meh, we'll see. Um, but yeah, so far, I mean, I, look at all the tree saplings we got down. Like, clearly this is working, and pretty well. We've got a little over a stack of wood. Um, the saplings are doing their thing. And you can tell that it's been working because, you know, there's saplings all over the place. There weren't as many as there were before. So, or there's more than there were before, I mean. So that's pretty cool. So I'm gonna call that a successful setup, right? The rats are doing their thing. We'll keep an eye on them for a little bit, make sure they continue to behave. And if they don't, oh, they'll get replaced with machines. Deal? So you better behave, rats, or I'll replace you with machinery. And then you'll be out of a job. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, so that's pretty cool. So let's see, what should my next tasks be? I'd like to continue down the mechanism tech tree. I would like to get into astral. Should we look into astral next? That would be probably fun to start up with. That might be cool. Um, but I think before we can get into astral, we're gonna wanna check out the mining dimension. Just another mining dimension. J-A-M-D, just another mining dimension, the mining portal. Uh, this guy is obsidian and a diamond pickaxe. And that's gonna set up a mining dimension for us. So maybe we should go visit that real quick. Uh, so that would be you and a few pieces of obsidian. And I think that would be cool. Yeah, we should definitely visit that place. Boop, badoop. Now, why am I going to a mining dimension? I will explain this to you guys. Um, we just updated the pack to version 1.2, which I mentioned last episode. That fixed rock crystal generation in Astral. Also, since the initial release of this pack, we added Create that adds World Gen. So there's been several World Generation changes since the first version of this pack. If I went mining underground right now, I would not encounter those changes. So therefore, look at you can see on the you can see on the map my rats are working. I guess I guess a tree just grew because we saw the rats moving there. Isn't that cool? Um, so if I went and visited or I went and mined underground here, we wouldn't find those changes. But I do want to make sure that I get them. So I'm thinking I'm going to place my mining portal over here. Now, if you guys have already, you know, visited the mining dimension in your packs, you can either just reset the mining dimension or just go visit new chunks. So, like, go somewhere you haven't been before, and when those new chunks generate, it will have all the changes to the world gen that have occurred. 
But I'm gonna pop this dude right about there. And now do I sneak on it? Do I click on it? What's the deal? How does, oh, there we go. I don't know what I did, but something happened. We're really high up, aren't we? 125 in the mining dimension. Cool. Well, here's your mining dimension, folks. All right, so it is a right click, by the by. Sweet. Uh, and that is a new place to mine for us. Not too shabby. Uh, I'll have to figure out how I want to set up a mining cave. Do we want to like... Because Now here's a question. Because this is the first time I'm trying this, does this work cross-dimensionally? You must be in the overworld to teleport to your bed. That's a shame. Uh, but that's not the end of the world. Um, but we will want to make sure that because we can't easily teleport across dimensions... At least not yet. We will probably add something in the... We'll get, uh, we'll probably get RF Tools to mention Teleporter Dude to let us do that. Should be easy enough. But now we have a new dimension within which to mine. Speaking of mining, I should probably consider going and doing that. Because, uh, yeah, it's probably about due. So why don't you charge up for me, which you should be doing now. Yeah, juice it up. I'm going to go mine a little bit off camera. We'll come back next episode, and maybe we'll look into Astral uh, and some other stuff. Uh, and, and specifically, I want to see if I can find some rock crystals. If I can't, it's not a big deal. Because once we get into Astral, one of the early items will show us where rock crystals are. And then I'll just have to go get them. Not a huge problem. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll figure it out. So for now, Double 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We'll come back next time to do some mining. I really wanted to get fortune on my flux board too. You know what I should do is I should deposit all my experience. That's what I should do. And then maybe next episode we'll look into getting an enchanting table too or something just so we can try and enchant our flux bore. a couple of people said the flux bore wasn't enchantable i think that was fixed because now it is you can see we can get holding efficiency fortune silk touch cool so fortune and silk touch are definitely both available on the silk are on the flux bore now so that is good times all right like i said that was my sign off hope you enjoyed the episode take it easy <laughs>